And now, your first alert five weather. Check it out, just an explosion of colors at sunrise this morning. Patricia took this colorful Colorado photo from Peregrine. Thanks for snapping and sending that in to me. Live downtown, we have got partly cloudy skies. It's 46 degrees right now. Light breeze out of the south makes it feel like 40. Beautiful sunset over the Rockies. Those are the wet mountains off in the distance. 51 is the current temperature. Light breeze out of the south at 7 miles per hour. Here's what's going to happen around here tomorrow. It's going to be another dry day here along I-25 and points east. Temperatures will be real close to what we had around here today. You'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine as we work through the day. Very comfortable by February standards here. I am tracking a storm that I think will impact your weekend. Here we go. Thursday still dry here during the daylight hours. Still dry during the daylight hours on Friday. Then as that energy catches up, gets a little closer around here. Going to see snow develop late Friday night. Continue into early Saturday morning. This is one of those hit and run systems and the hit is not going to be all that hard. I think we'll see sunshine for most of the day on Saturday. Here's the way it lays out. That cold front's going to blast through here early Friday afternoon. Behind the front, a moist upslope flow. Good energy coming our way. So all the elements coming together for a pretty decent snow across the higher elevations. I think most of the snow is going to fall along and west of I-25 with this thing. It's going to be a breezy day around here on Friday. So yes, snow dynamics favorable here this time for parts of the News 5 viewing area. Of course, this is a developing storm. As it gets closer, we'll certainly have some updated forecasts for you. These are updated temperatures right now. Monument, you're the cool spot at 37. Everyone else into the 40s and 50s. Very comfortable late afternoon here across the viewing area. Overnight low temperatures tonight. A little colder than last night, but still, these numbers not outrageous for this time of the year. Remember, one week ago today, our highs didn't even hit the freezing mark, so that's not too bad a deal. And tomorrow, we're back into the 40s and 50s. Uh, wind's going to be real light around here tomorrow. Breeze anywhere from 5 to maybe 10 and 15 miles per hour. Now, that wind does ramp up a little bit around here on Thursday. That's part of our super 7-day forecast forecast breaking down that hour by hour wind forecast. Strongest wind will be from late morning through the afternoon hours. Could see a snow shower real early Thursday morning with that uh, real weak disturbance that's moving across the area. Best possibility of snow for the next few days will be late Friday night into Saturday morning. Just a one on the storm impact scale. I'd be really surprised if we saw uh, a whole lot of accumulation across the viewing area. We'll make it up to you on Sunday. That's a super Sunday forecast there. 56 degrees with sunshine, then the possibility of a new storm by late Tuesday. Probably your next chance of moisture is late Friday night into early Saturday morning. That disturbance is going to provide better snow dynamics. It will not be a big storm by any means. Just a few hit and run snow showers, so it's a one on our storm impact scale. And look, it's Super Sunday. You can wear t-shirts and shorts to your Super Bowl party this year. Canyon City very comfortable through Friday afternoon. Cold front with some good energy teaming up for a brief shot of snow showers. Shoveling not required with that storm. A new system could take shape by late Tuesday. Stay tuned on that. And for Woodland Park, an isolated snow shower possible late tomorrow night into early Thursday before sunrise. A much better chance of getting some snow, some of that much needed moisture late Friday into early Saturday morning with that fast moving system coming in. We're going to go with a two on the storm impact scale. We could have some slick road, uh, slick icy roads up there by Saturday morning and then still a new storm system rolling in by next Tuesday. Welcome to life on the storm track. Time for traffic.